All right. So coming in, it's a really deep pitching staff so far. What have you learned from these guys? Can't make mis- you got you got to do everything right. You can't make mistakes in anything you do. Um, the hitters have taught me that, especially you got to make pitches where we are supposed to. Uh, location, location-wise, movement-wise, and even if you do make your spot, they'll still hit it. So it's been a it's been a big adjustment from high school for me, but I feel like I've been making a ton of progress with it, and there's there's more to come. What do you, I guess, in the in the guys in the in the bullpen and the pitching staff, you know, have you learned anything from those guys? There's always there's always things to learn. Um, I I did a lot of watching of people that played last year, uh, try to see what they did, um, try to pick up things from them. So. I, I, out of high school, I was mainly a fastball pitcher because I could get away with it. But I've seen people throw like 30% fastballs here and be be really effective. So I've started mixing mixing my pitches more and mixing up and down, in and out, a lot more than than I used to. Do you have to? Have you gotten in with Hobbs and started working on a secondary pitch? Yeah, I always had a slider, but it wasn't always a true slider that good but I've been working on it a lot with him over the fall and it's it's improved a lot it's got a better more consistent break to it so what's it been like working with Hobbs he just knows what he's doing um it's hard to explain it nothing really makes sense but you do it and it just it works like you just have to trust him and Trust that he knows what he's talking about, and it works out for you. So. Is it unique coming from high school to a program that has gone back-to-back College World Series? Yeah, I, I was originally committed to Wichita State, and with the coaching changes, I decommitted from Wichita State to here, and that in itself was just a huge, huge change. I was expecting to go in, and they had slated me pretty high at Wichita State as starting uh, coming coming right in as a freshman and coming here and fighting for a spot on this team that is so highly touted and has so much history behind it and the goals are the highest goals you can you can ask for so what about the clubhouse and these guys coming in as a freshman and on a team that like I said back to back college world series what's it been like for you Can you rephrase it? Yeah, yeah. No, I can say it again. Um, coming in to these guys, the culture of this team that's gone back-to-back College World Series, what's it been like for you coming in as a freshman? You just got to keep their uh, winning mentality. You, you can't sacrifice what, they, what they've done over the past year, two years, the people that have been here. And you just want to build on to it because they've been there two years in a row. And you don't want to be the person to, to slack and hold them back again because – They've been working so hard for it, and it just makes you want to work hard for it, and it just creates this culture. Where do you see yourself fitting in in the rotation to this uh, this year? It's really just performance based. Once the season gets here, it could be anywhere from coming in, getting one two outs that are needed, or it could be longer stints. It really just depends how how I perform this season. But I would imagine it's. It's out of the bullpen, getting two, three, three outs, getting Ks when I need to, and helping the team win that way. You say getting Ks, are you a mainly a strikeout pitcher? I would say so, yeah. I, I mainly, yeah, I'm, I'm mainly a strikeout pitcher. It's, it's okay, you can say you're a strikeout pitcher. So, coming in on this team, like, the difference between high school and college, I'm sure there's a ton of stuff, but even talking about with Hobbs and just his stat oriented, you know, the track man, all that kind of stuff. What's that been like? I love all the stats. I, in high school, I didn't have any of it really, so I was kind of winging it. Um, just had a guess, but now I, like, I, I pitch, I throw a bullpen, and I want the numbers like two minutes later. I, I want to know how I did, number wise as well as practical wise, and 
practicality wise. So I, I want everything. I want everything I can. How's that helped you? I'm a I'm a very analytical guy, so I, I look at like everything. I look at my progress over the time, and I, when I make changes, I usually look at the bullpen or outing. I made the changes in and the one right before it to see see how those kind of match up and see what it improved and what it didn't, or if I digressed, um, see if I need to go back or try something else or keep doing it. And I've just slowly built on that and I've improved a lot because of it. Something that people may not know about you, Mark. Hmm. That's a, that's the hardest one. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of things, but. Um, I, let's let's rephrase it. What do you like about Arkansas? Um, well, growing up, I never really had like a dream school. I'd always wanted to play college baseball, but something about the Arkansas logo, I just attracted to it, and I never visited here, but I always knew it was like something just pulled me to it and. When I came on a visit here, I had other offers, and I just knew once once I got offered here, I, I didn't even leave the parking lot. And I called. I knew my decision.